Greetings and welcome to the introduction to astronomy. One of the things that I like to do in each of my introductory astronomy classes is to begin the class with the astronomy picture of the day from the NASA website that is apod.nasa.gov apod. And today's picture for December 24th of 2021. Well, it is titled M1 the Crab Nebula. So what do we see here? Well, this is the Crab Nebula, the very first object in Charles Messier's catalog from the 1700s. And that listed objects that were fuzzy and appeared fuzzy in the small telescopes of the time, but were not comets. So lots of people were looking for comets. And it was nice to have a catalog that identified these objects that were not comets. Now we now know that the Crab Nebula is an example of a supernova remnant. And in fact, we saw the explosion of this here on Earth nearly a thousand years ago. And in fact, it is recorded in various records dating back to 1054, when a new star appeared in the constellation of Taurus. And this is noted in ancient records and recorded. So we can actually record that location and find out when it was there. We now know that this is what is classified as a type two supernova. A type two supernova is the the supernova that occurs at the end of the life of a massive star. So the star goes through its life and then builds up an iron core and completely explodes. And we're seeing the outer layers of that spreading out into space to this day. So what we're seeing essentially is the expansion of that gas, the outer layers of the star that were that were that exploded nearly a thousand years ago. This is a thousand years worth of expansion. And at that point, it's about 12 light years that it's been able to travel in that thousand year time, because of how intense the explosion was. Now towards the center of this one of these stars is a neutron star. It is an extremely rapidly spinning star compressed down to the size of a city. So it's really small, uh, but still very massive having more mass than our own sun. It spins incredibly fast at 30 times a second and beams material out in jets opposite uh, on opposite directions. So we get a pulse of material from it every one, 30 times a second. And that's why this is called a pulsar. So the central object is a pulsar. Now that's different than what we see. We often see the end of life of a star like our sun as a planetary nebula. And that leaves a white dwarf or planet sized object behind. This in a more intense ending to the life of a massive star leaves behind a neutron star where all of the electrons in the atoms are scrunched into the uh, nuclei, making essentially a big ball of neutrons or a gigantic atomic nucleus essentially. And that is what is at the center. The outer layers, of course, continue to expand outward and will eventually dissipate and become seed material for future stars. And this is where a lot of uh, the heavier elements are created in supernova explosions like the Crab Nebula that we're looking at today. So that was our picture of the day for December 24th of 2021. It was titled M1 the Crab Nebula. We'll be back again tomorrow for the next picture, previewed to be a Christmas comet. So we'll see what that is about tomorrow. And until then, have a great day, everyone, and I will see you in class. <laughs>